everyone, so this is how I'm learning Korean. Um, first of all, for taking notes, I'm just going to be using the Good Notes app. I currently have this already, um, so I just create a notebook and you can, you know, write on the paper, highlight it. And the things I like about this is because you can do it in square paper, it makes writing a little bit more easier. I'm also using the flashcard, um, which is handy as well. So you can write your Korean word at the top or you can, you know, write it in Hangul or whatever. And you just keep, um, in order to build the cards, you just keep swiping. So you can have as many flashcards as you want. And then when you want to actually use the flashcards, you just click on the wee dot, study flashcards, and it pops up. And you can just, you know, hit it. If you're good at it, that's fine. You can save it for later. If it's easy, you just let it go. And then if it's hard, you get to redo it again. And the good thing about this is you can just create and delete them as you go if you don't want to keep them. So that's what I'll be using when I'm out and about is the Good Notes app. Um, I'll also be using the report pad that I found in Daiso. This is just a little basic notepad that I'm using and it's quite nice to just occasionally write things out and highlight it. It's blank on one side and lined on the other so um, it's a really nice paper to write on and I just picked this up for a few dollars out of Daiso. So I'll be using this um, when I'm not using my iPad. Another thing I collected in Daiso were, were these bits of paper. Um, it's basically like vertical Japanese writing paper. And what I liked about it is just that the boxes are quite a nice size to lay on Hangul. I know it's a Japanese store, but you know, um, it worked well and I enjoy using it. And it comes in a pack, so you can just, um, yeah, you can use it for reading and writing or whatever. A couple of books that I'm using um, as a beginner are the Korean From Zero. And the reason I bought this is because I actually bought this Japanese from zero um, when I want to learn Japanese. And what I liked about this book is it was the way it was laid out for beginners. It was very clear, very straightforward. It had answers, it had options for you to try things out, give you exact tests to do, things like that. So when it came to Korean, I actually went on to Kindle. Um, and so I bought this one as well as um, number two and number three. And it's a really clear, concise way to actually learn. So it teaches you Hangul if you don't already know it. If you do, you can just skip the section and go to page 49. And it breaks it down really well, gives you an example of how it was created, uh, the consonant and the vowels, how the actual creating of this letters go, your consonant and your vowels. Um, you also get good writing practice. And basically, it's like the Japanese book. You can just work your way through and you can do the, you know, the reading and the writing. And it's a really interesting book and quite nice as well. So this one is just a little fun one, so I'll let you listen to this one. So what I like about these is you actually get four in the set, you also get the, the talking pen, the speaking pen, and you also got keyboard stickers. And so basically you work from book one and then you just work your way through all four books. And every book is exactly the same, but obviously it develops as you progress through. So it's actually a really interesting book with different options of the speaking pen. Español. Vea la principal expresión. Lea la principal expresión. Hanguga. And this one's really easy, you just turn it on and off, and it actually just charges by USB. So it's actually quite a handy little um, pen to have. So a couple of the apps that I'm using, um, I'm just diving into them at the moment, I'm not really got right into them as such, is Memrise. This is quite a good one. It lets you practice, um, obviously, like your reading and your grammar, and it lets you choose basically by picking the words or creating words. Um, and it also lets you give you, it gives you a listening exercise where you can actually listen to the words being said, um, which is quite good. So the next one is Quizlet, which I at the moment only use the flashcards on. 
it's a handy sign. and it's got a lot of different ways of learning and stuff but um, for me at the moment I like the way the, uh, the flashcards have been written out and it's quite handy just to jump in and use this when you've just got a couple of minutes and you want to learn something. Um, obviously you can use the Good Notes uh, flashcards but these ones are already created and it's the same principle, just move them left or right or accept them and then you just work through them. So it's a really handy wee one to have. The next thing is YouTube and websites that I go on to and one of the good websites that I actually learn is Learn Korean in Korean and your teacher is a man called Mr Kim and it's a really good way of actually learning and it's all in Korean so you actually learn as if you're actually in a classroom and the guy is actually, the teacher is really really nice and he actually shows you how to pronounce it and actually make the shape of your mouth and to actually pronounce the words and it's a really really good site um, and basically you just start off with the alphabet. This is another one, the Korean Fool course, and the teacher here is Kate. And what I like about this is there's actually a whole beginner section here for the alphabet and grammar. So she'll go through each of these with you and they'll actually show you in the video how to actually draw the actual character as well of the letter. Um, as we all know, there's also Talk To Me in Korean, which is quite a popular one. Um, I've registered for this just as a basic user. So um, as a basic user, I'm a level one which means that I get to have um, essential Korean courses at this level. And this is a really good site, um, especially for it being free, um, at, at least at this level. So for your first lesson, you can actually see in lesson one, you actually are learning quite a lot of words. And what I like about this is it's just a mixture of, um, like obviously the beginning word of hello, things like that, yes, no. And it breaks it down, so you get a conversation with the teachers. And then if you're wanting to read along while listening, you can also have the script down below. And it breaks the words up for you, as well as the Korean word and um, how to pronounce it, which is really good. And so you just work your way through each level and you learn as you go. And it's a really handy one. Now the same with this one, Korean Class 101 which I believe is the same person from Talk To Me In Korean. Again, I'm just a beginner level with this. And so you just go through the lessons, first encounters, things like how to say your name, say hello. And again, with this one, you get the three dialogues. So you get romanization, um, you get English and you get Korean. And I actually think this is quite a good one as well, just to pick up and it's you know pretty good for you to listen to and learn. And to also see how the words are written and to also see the pronunciation of how you would actually pronounce it in the robotization. At the bottom you also get like the, the notes as well of the grammar that's spoken. There is option to download PDFs, um, which I haven't done yet. Now this site I go to, um, which is So and Carrot, and is a teacher called So. Um, this one has a mixture of bookstores, beauty, and um, just basic like download PDFs. And this is where I go to um, just sometimes just to have a, a little break from studying. There's a lot of PDFs here that are quite um, quite relaxing and quite a nice way to look at things. I've not downloaded a lot of them, but some of them are um, pretty good, uh, the ones that I have downloaded. There's also a lot of books that you can buy, which I haven't done yet and I'm hoping to do in the future. I mean, you can see that the work in this is really, really good and there's been a lot of um, effort put into this. So there we are, and um, that's how I'm just going to be learning Korean I am myself at home, self-teaching. So um, this is what I'm going to be using. If you have enjoyed this and you want to see more videos, please let me know. And any questions you have, please put in the comments below. So I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to and watch this video. So thanks very much.